Welcome to the MLTI Slam Show. I'm Jared, and today is Thursday, November 17th. In the MLTI Slam Show, we learn from students just like you from all over me. And we'll begin today by following along with Autumn Ballard from Nokomis Middle School, who will teach us about Google Draw, um, where you can use Google Draw to create image maps that can be embedded into websites. Then viewers could take the Slam exam, a chance to win prize by answering questions about today's show. Then we'll wrap up the show with the Slam demo, Shared Piano. And of course, please mute your mic. And if you have questions, enter them in the chat so Lucas, our moderator, can respond during the show. Remember, your account is connected to everything you type, so be kind and have fun. Now, welcome, Autumn. Glad you could join us. What do you have to share with us today? Today, we are going to be creating image maps with Google Draw. An image map is a picture where you have different areas to click on. OK, so first, you're going to Open a new tab and type in drawing.new. Then you're going to click insert image and search the web. And then I'm just going to search for oceans. And you'll drag it to your screen. Okay, and then you're going to click the shapes and then a circle. And you're going to put it over the Atlantic Ocean. And then you're going to click the fill and make it transparent along with the border and make that transparent. And then you're going to open a new tab and and search for Atlantic Oceans and we'll go to Wikipedia and then you will copy with control C. Okay. And then to create any line you want, you can just go to polygon and then do a random shape around the Pacific Ocean. And then you will continue to do the transparent thing. And then you'll add your link to that, like you did to the Atlantic Ocean. And then you'll click share. Anyone with the link, copy link. And then you can go to a different tab to paste it in there. And then you have your map. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right. And if you find the presentation difficult to follow, remember you can always access these recordings at www.mlti.me to play, pause, and rewind. Now we're going to check in with Lucas, our moderator. Are there any questions from the chat? Well, let's see. Seems like we have one here. How do you share your map? So, Autumn, could you go ahead and take that question for us? To share your map, you will go to share and you will copy the link. And then you will open a new tab. And then you will just paste your link in there. And then you can click on to the circle to open a website. Thank you for watching. All right. And thank you for coming on the show and teaching us about Google Draw. Now, Slammers, get ready to click the link in the chat to take the Slam exam, a one question quiz about today's show topic. You will have until the next episode to answer the question and be entered in the prize drawing. Only your first entry will count and the others will be removed. Then, of course, we'll announce the winner in the next episode. That way, everyone has a chance to take the SLAM exam, even if you're not able to join us live. And I will give a code for you to type in so everyone has the same amount of time. 
And the same exam question from last episode was, where can you find existing 3D models right in SketchUp? Was it storage, workplane, or warehouse? And the correct answer was warehouse. And now the winner is JL from rsu19.net. So congratulations. The SLAM team will reach out to you to get that prize to you. So be sure to be checking your email. Now, uh, before we ask this week's SLAM exam questions, let's check out this week's SLAM demo. Hi guys, my name is Caitlin Raymond and today I'm going to be showing you how to work the website Shared Piano. Shared Piano I think is pretty fun. It's not super important unless you want to record music. I personally do not do that, but I still think it's pretty fun. So if you're at the main screen, there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can make different music and they're all pretty fun to mess around with. But today we're going to be focusing on the Shared Piano in the top left. This is called the Chrome Music Lab, by the way. So in Shared Piano, it's a piano that you can control with your keyboard, like this. And it just makes all sorts of music. And you can have that little emoji. It kind of gives you a random one, but you can change it over here, the emojis. And yeah, you can change it from what instrument you're using. If you are using a piano like usual, you can change it to the synth. It's loading. Now you can play the synth. I don't know what that is, but yeah, sounds pretty cool. Uh, you can also just drag it on your keypad and it will play or you can like tap each key. You can um, copy this link or link and add a people. So like if you up here in the top right, it says new room. You're in a room and if you copy that link, it will add people to it and you can all play on the same piano. I think that is probably my favorite thing because we can just be messing around. I usually do it during broadcasting class and it makes Mr. Kelly pretty mad, but it's kind of fun. And then, yeah, to save it, you click this button in the bottom right. And yeah, it's saved. You can share it after it's saved by copying this link, similar to the creating a room, but you're sharing what you've already made. And yeah, so there's recordings, there's all that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. I think it's a fun website and you guys should give it a shot. Thank you for letting me show you guys how to work shared piano today. All right, thank you for the information about that website, Caitlin. And now let's get ready for the SLAM exam. Our moderator will put the link in the chat, or if you're not watching this live, visit mlti.me and click the SLAM exam link at the top to enter your answer. And you can only enter once anytime before next week's show. The passcode for this episode is 472. And the SLAM exam question is, what is the term for placing an image map inside a website? Is it embed, embolden, or embiggen? And of course, we will announce the winner randomly select from all correct answers next episode. Good luck. So thank you everyone for joining today's MLTI Slam Show. Thanks again to our presenter, Autumn Ballard, our moderator, Lucas, and director, Aiden. Slammers, if you have questions, would like to make comments or share the work you created today on the show, visit www.mlti.me and contact us. Those of you in the live stream right now, stick around for the after show live discussion. Student leadership ambassadors, stay curious. We'll see you next time. The MLTI SLAM Show is a program of the Maine Department of Education. For more information about this and other innovative educational initiatives, please visit www.maine.gov doe.